Diana and Acton. And you, sir, yes, sir, you who just began to hear these lines, you're maybe a marked man. Haven't you half thought that while you view Acton's intrusion, you're intruding too? Perhaps too chubby for most modern tastes, for less ample pulchritude and skinny waist. Diana, scorned by connoisseurs of scrawn, punishes those who'd pimp her as plump pawn. Actaeon stares at the stag's skull, the flayed skin above the nymph who dries Diana's shin. The stag skull in its dominant position over mortal flesh, immortalized by Titian, maybe marks you out to share Actaeon's doom after you've left the safety of this room. On those Diana's flesh makes salivate and clock the stag skull sockets far too late. Stiff sprouting hairs will suddenly appear and flesh hooked faces furred up like doomed deer. As you exit through the gallery's glass doors, that antlered head reflected, is it yours? For survival's sake, when leaving, best beware of baying bloodhounds in Trafalgar Square.